I really, really love it. I've walked it. Uh, I've even helped plant some milkweed. I really love it. I think it's great. It's beautiful. My name is Judith Shaw. I actually own all the land up to where the dam was. I'm Steve Fraley. I'm with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, Division of Inland Fisheries. We're on the Cane River and we're at the site of a, a rather large restoration project where uh, the ruins of an old dam were, were taken out and um, the uh, upstream of that dam, uh, the area that, that had been formerly a, a reservoir in the past and had been filled with sediment and uh, the river channel had had eroded away part of that old uh, accumulated sediment and had become uh, an area of pretty poor fish and, and mussel habitat um, and also a source of pretty significant uh, uh, sediment uh, erosion that is impacting the stream downstream um, and that now has been has been very nicely uh, stabilized and restored Hi, I'm Anita Getz. I work with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in the Asheville Field Office, and I oversee the Partners for Fish and Wildlife Program. When we do a restoration project of this scale, having an interdisciplinary team is really critical. So basically, with the Cane River Dam, um, we worked with uh, the Blue Ridge R C and D Council to develop a technical advisory team. So the partners that were involved in the Cane River Dam project ranged from biologists working with the State Wildlife Resources Commission, biologists with Fish and Wildlife Service, the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality, Clean Water Management Trust Fund with the state was involved in the project, as well as North Carolina Department of Transportation, North Carolina Department of Agriculture, we used uh, North Carolina State University and Appalachian State University along with the Soil and Water Conservation District in Yancey County. I can't say enough good things about the contractors that we work with and the design engineers. And we had uh, nonprofit organizations. So I would be remiss in not mentioning the most important a uh, component of our partnership for these large-scale restoration projects and even though are small-scale projects and that is the private landowner so I do want to emphasize the need for landowners to be involved in the partnership from the get-go and that really ensures that this project the projects like these are successful